You've probably seen the headlines. Astronauts brought a kitchen oven to China's Tiangong space station and started grilling New Orleans-style chicken wings and black pepper steak in space. Yes, you heard that right. Real cooking in microgravity inside a sealed orbital lab where smoke, fumes, smells, and floating food could turn into a nightmare. So why would they do that? How did they pull it off? And what does it mean, not just for life in orbit, but for the future of space travel? Because if we're serious about going to Mars, we'll need more than rockets and spacecraft. We'll need kitchens, comfort, and the taste of home. In this video, we'll dig into the science, the flavor, and the human touch behind what's being called the first barbecue in space. Okay, technically not a real barbecue, but it's close enough. So here's the story. One astronaut, currently aboard Tiangong with the Shenzhou 20 crew, once said in a media interview, the China National Space Administration heard him. They built a space-ready kitchen oven and sent it up with a Shenzhou 21 spaceflight, arriving just in time for the next crew rotation. And yes, his wish came true. Shenzhou 21 is China's 16th crewed spaceflight, launched at 11.44 p.m. Beijing time on October 31st. And just three hours and 22 minutes later, it docked with the Tiangong space station. Impressive. Let's put it this way. If you took off from New York to Houston at the same time, your plane wouldn't even be preparing to descend. But the crew? They'd already arrived, unpacking their gear and their kitchen oven. It's not just about food. It's about the future. Cooking from raw ingredients is a test of long-term self-sufficiency, a small but vital step toward living off local or grown resources, whether in orbit, on the moon, or one day on Mars. But it's also about something deeper, humanizing spaceflight. For decades, astronauts have survived on freeze-dried packets and reheated meals. Now with Tiangong's new oven, space exploration is shifting from survival to living well, from engineering alone to human-centered design. Yeah, we definitely don't want a repeat of what Howard Wolowitz did to the ISS in the Big Bang Theory. This is more of an FYI call. We are basically out the door. Aha. All right, back to reality. This oven is a hot air convection oven, similar to the ones in our kitchens, but built for orbit. The key difference? It has a built-in air purification system, like a space-grade range hood, but completely sealed inside the oven. So no fumes, no smells, no smoke. Nothing escapes into the Tiangong cabin. And according to one of the oven's designers, you can even touch the outer surface while it's running. It stays cool to the hand, thanks to multi-layer insulation and heat containment. You've probably heard the old NASA pen versus Soviet pencil story. Not true, but it reminds us that simplicity often wins. That's exactly the design philosophy behind this oven. No complex robotics, just metal pins to secure each chicken wing and a locking cage that holds the tray in place. Simple and effective. It keeps every juicy piece exactly where it belongs, no matter how weightless things get. Because in microgravity, juices don't drip, they cling. Oils and sauces stay on the surface, creating a glossy glaze that caramelizes evenly. The oven's hot air system circulates heat from all directions, while its sealed chamber locks in humidity. The result? No dryness, no burn marks, just that perfectly roasted look you'd expect from a Michelin kitchen, floating 400 kilometers above Earth. Yes, but mostly for psychological reasons. Astronauts seemed genuinely delighted by the chicken wings and beef steak. One even asked, In microgravity, aromas concentrate and juices cling, which can enhance flavor but the real magic is emotional. It's the joy of hot, freshly cooked food in orbit. A rare comfort that makes every bite taste better. Yes, astronauts are planning to cook more than just meat. The oven can handle baked goods and cake is on the menu. Imagine a warm cupcake floating gently in microgravity. Well, veggie cooking is not yet confirmed by CNSA, but it's possible 
lettuce, carrots, and cherry tomatoes might still be best served fresher salads for maximum nutrition. But newer crops like sweet potato could become the first space fries. This marks a new chapter in space exploration. From freeze-dried packets to sizzling steak, it's not just about food. It's about meeting astronauts' emotional and sensory needs in orbit. The first barbecue in space shows astronauts not just surviving, but thriving. When they cook, share, and smile, space begins to feel a little more like home.